You're watching Republican National Convention coverage from Milwaukee. I'm Frederica Freiberg. We will stay with NewsHour coverage, but we want to check in now with here and now senior political reporter Zach Schultz, who comes to us from Milwaukee. And hi, Zach. So day one of the Republican convention there in Milwaukee certainly takes on heightened security concerns. Has that been in evidence? Yeah, we saw that already yesterday. I went to a prayer vigil that was kind of spontaneously popped up in response to the, the shooting of Donald Trump last Saturday. And I spoke to some people who said they were not concerned at all. They were absolutely happy and thought that Milwaukee would be very safe to be in because of that, because they knew that the Secret Service and the Almano police here would be in, in a large presence. But on the other side, there are some people that I know that were planning to come to Milwaukee that scrapped those plans over the weekend because of that. They just didn't feel it was worth the risk or that their people would feel safe and secure being here in the city. So Wisconsin, the Wisconsin delegation, of course, proceeded as planned. And you heard from some important players uh, today, among them, uh, to kick things off, including uh, state Republican Party chair Brian Chimming. Well, I get a lot of questions about the security situation in Milwaukee because of what happened. Milwaukee, Wisconsin right now is the safest place on the face of the planet. Well, that is uh, reassuring to be sure. Uh, we, we do know that there were planned protests uh, today, Monday. Uh, what can you tell us about those and how, how those went down? Well, there, was, there were a lot of protesters here representing all different uh, walks of life and all different feelings on what issues they were protesting Republicans and the RNC about. And there were some pretty loud counter-protesters of them, those that were uh, strong anti-abortion advocates that, with megaphones shouting them down. There was heavy police presence around them, but nothing got violent. And as far as we know, there were no arrests related to any of those protests. Because it really does sound as though people have tried to kind of deal with the assassination attempt and lower the rhetoric. Absolutely. The word here in Milwaukee is unity. That's what all the delegates and all the Republicans are preaching. They want to bring the Republican Party together and they're trying to put out this message that they will take this moment and move forward to unify both their party and the country. And we will see if that happens and whether that happens in words and deeds uh, will only be tested down the line. But that is definitely the message today. Indeed. Uh, thank you, Zach. We look forward to talking with you tomorrow night. We will be here at the same time tomorrow with latest updates from Dave two of the RNC in Milwaukee. On Friday, join Here and Now at 7 for full coverage of the convention and what it means for Wisconsin. <music>